guys, welcome to this week's episode. This week I got a double treat. First off, I'm getting to film with my good buddy an Alabama native, Marcus Fox. Marcus is a brand new Nashville recording artist. In fact, his single just dropped yesterday. I'm still coming home. And we are at, hands down, the number one most acclaimed bass lake in America. We're at the world famous Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreats in Pentlala, Alabama. Couldn't sleep last night. I know Marcus couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't sleep because you were snoring. Well, anyway, so here's the deal. This place is world famous for big bass, for presidents visiting the fish. We got to sleep in the presidential cabin. And so, dude, the table is set for one of the best days I've ever had on the water. I know it's the best day you've ever had on the water because it's the biggest bass you caught, about two and a half, three pounds, yeah, something no. like that. All yeah, right, yeah. well, let's two get the half, boats three. in the water and do this. <laughs> Present Lake is uh, the largest lake. It's about 50, 55 acres, I guess, total. And it's unique. It's the oldest lake, and it's beautifully balanced, and we keep a very tight rein on the population dynamics. As a result, we've got good quality fish there as well, and a good year class coming all one after the other. That's the lake that President Bush, both President Bush has fished on numerous occasions, and uh, he's, every time I see him, the first thing he says after he asks about my wife, he says, how's the fishing? <laughs> but they do love it. He's uh, President George Bush, the old man, and, and his son, this younger president, and Mrs. Bush have been here on numerous occasions. And we're real proud of that lake. It's also a lake that has produced a lot of big fish, one of which was 13 pounds, 15 ounces. But uh, it's just a marvelous, balanced, well-managed place. We've got our own biologists that nurses it day by day. And uh, that, uh, that, of course, assures that the quality of fish stays the same. The ever elusive bark bass. Or ever so plentiful in my case. I'm the resident biologist at Ray Scott Outdoors in the Trophy Bass Retreat here. I have over 100 acres of water that I maintain to the highest quality we can do. Uh, I am quality check the water every month and I chemically check it four times a year. And twice a year we will electrofish the lakes to check the actual fish numbers in the lakes. And our goal is to grow trophy bass. And the way we do that is we cannot directly feed the bass, so we feed the forage base. And on these little over 100 acres, we have uh, 29 electric fish feeders that go off three times a day. And during the summertime, when the water temperature is up in the 80s, we'll feed a ton a month of fish food. We go through a lot of fish food. But that's what it takes to maintain these lakes and the high quality bass. I was expecting a big old five pound bass. Lisa called something today. You know, just looking at the graph, I can already tell there's cover and structure everywhere, not just the stuff that you see sticking up. So there ain't no such thing as naked water in this place. You got a wake. You can ski behind this boat. Welcome back to Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin. This week, Chad Hoover is in Pentlala, Alabama, chasing trophy bass at one of the world's premier fishing lodges, Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreat. We are always gonna find, I don't care where you fish, how you fish, what you fish. If you find running water after a rain, you're gonna find bass hanging around it. You know, before you actually head out fishing here at uh, Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreats, the guys actually sit you down and they do almost like a brief the night before. And it's a very thorough brief. Unfortunately, I think there's still room for misinterpretation of what they said. Uh, Jim gave the brief and was very specific. He said, you know, you're going to catch the majority of, of your bass in the treetops. And it, Marcus has spent most of the day casting into the treetops along the shoreline, not the treetops in the water. So. I may need to paddle over and kind of explain the difference between the treetops he's casting to and the ones that Jim was <laughs> actually talking about. <laughs> you 
know when the fishing gets tough, no matter what the weather does, no matter what the wind does, no matter what kind of stuff you're fishing, anywhere you go, that right there is a go-to when you have to put a fish in the boat. The old world famous Cinco, the Yama Cinco from Yamamoto. Often imitated, never duplicated. So we got about 25 to 35 knots of wind today with gusts up in the 40 knot range. So uh, it's been a little tough holding position out in the middle of the lake and even tougher finding fish even with a good anchoring system. So we moved over here with the shallow bank near the deeper water and the first cast to stand in timber in six foot of water produced a fish. Fish gone. Nice little healthy bass. And off she goes. With a cold and windy day of fishing behind them, the guys head back to the lodge to refuel and recharge the batteries in preparation for another big day on the water. When it comes to accommodations, service, food, there's no place out there that's got it down like this place does. This is a, it's definitely a world-class operation, but when it comes to the potential to catch a true trophy. I don't think there's anywhere in the country that comes anywhere close to this. I mean, if you're a bass fisherman, if you like to get away, if you're looking for the ultimate bass fishing, you know, destination trip or 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 vacation or reward to yourself, this is definitely the place to come. We have two packages for our lodge. Uh, we take it, we keep it as private as possible. We like, we don't take more than eight people at a time. And we have a one-day package where you come in 6.30 in the morning and fish all day and we'll take a, about 45 minutes for lunch and give you a real nice lunch. And we can provide the boats if you need a boat. And we use new, high-quality, professional-style bass boats. Now, our deluxe package is a three-day trip. <clears throat> you come in on Monday and leave on Thursday and you get to fish about two and a half days. And then you get to stay in our luxury cabins, the president's cabin and the lodge, and we do uh, excellent food. But it's a great, a great fishery, and uh, I'm very proud of it. So I guess of all the things I've been able to do in life, these lakes are my pride and joy. And I must tell you this, we've got some good staff people that work on the property, Jim Liner and Jim Kentz, that nurse these lakes daily. We like to almost guarantee a guy, if, he, if he's a halfway decent fisherman, he'll think he's a champion when he gets out of here. Stay tuned. When we come back, Chad and Marcus make the move to the Ladies Only Lake, a first of its kind lake filled with big female bass. There it is. Oh, yeah. Come around. Come on. Get away from that tree. Welcome back to Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin. This week, Chad Hoover's joined by up and coming country music star, Marcus Fox, at the legendary Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreat. All right, so it's day two of our adventure here at Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreats. We're making the move. Now the wind has died down significantly, but we still got some wind to contend with. The temperature's up, so it looks like it's gonna be a lot better day, and guess what? We're moving to Red Eagle Lake, which is also known as the ladies only lake, meaning there's nothing in here but big old fat female bass. I'm gonna feel like I'm at a family reunion in the South and I'm gonna be hooking up with some big old pigs. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of people ask about fishing here, and uh, I'm glad some of them come. But you know, we have uh, actually uh, uh, three lakes that we actually fish uh, on this property, and uh, this is one of them. This is the last one built about, I'm guessing, six, seven years ago. 
and it's unique in one respect, and that is that, you know, one of the problems we recognized years ago that you can get too many bass in the lake, and they compete constantly for the bait and don't get as big as they could where they just fewer fish. This lake is unique because we put bait fish in there, shad, shiners, bluegill, shell crackers, all the food fish, and they do well. But if we put the bass in there, we put nothing but nice, big, healthy, fat mama bass, all girls' lake, and we call it the girls' lake. And it, they don't multiply, they just eat and get big and fat like me and everybody's happy. Oh, look at the gut on that thing. Dude, that thing is square. Just think, if you put one male bass in here, he would die of exhaustion. We need that credit card lure old boy had. <laughs> My name is Marcus Fox. I'm from down here in Sweet Home, Alabama. I'm a country music, aspiring country music singer. Yesterday, my first single ever, something I've been working towards my whole life, came out on uh, country music radio. It's called I'm Still Coming Home. Uh, so make sure you request it at your local radio station soon or now. Pick up the phone now. It's, uh, it's a song about returning service members and things when they come back home kind of helping their family understand that the war might not be over for them and that's why they they act the way they do or they they do the things they do or they stay up all night or uh, just some way for the families to to understand because uh, if you haven't been there you could never know what it's really like but that song I hope paints a picture for that and uh, hopefully we're getting ready to uh, gear up and start touring and and uh, bring you some more country music, some good country music. Nothing about Cito and Frico. There it is. Oh, yeah. Come around. Come on. Get away from that tree. Get away from that tree. Come here. Another little toter. Golly. I know these are all female bass, but they all look like Danny DeVito. Hey guys, let me take a second and tell you what we've been having success with today. First and foremost, the winning formula has been dark colored, soft plastics, pitched up really tight to the cover, allowed to fall, and the slower you move it, the better. What I chose to do that today is a seven foot three heavy SMG from All Pro Rods, I coupled that with a 50 MG Cronark reel from Shimano. Now, I spooled this up with the new Smackdown braid from Seaguar. I love their Kansan braid, but if you're looking for a, a braid with castability that's super slick, stays round, super abrasion resistant, check out the Smackdown braid from Seaguar. I tied in a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader to give me a little bit more abrasion resistance that Invisex from Seaguar, a 5 alt offset worm hook from Mustad. And probably the most effective lure for me was a five inch solid black Yamasenko from Gary Yamamoto Plastics. You know, when fishing conditions get tough, that's my go-to presentation and my go-to setup. And I've now got a new go-to braid. This Smackdown is awesome.
Welcome back to Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassin. This week, Chad Hoover's hunt for big bass has taken him to the ladies only lake at Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreat, a lake filled exclusively with big female bass. So I saw a few shad flickers out here. Looked like they were something chasing them. Nothing on the surface, just a little dart here and there. So I pulled up in this little spot and anchored because I got a lot of targets out here in front of me. Just started throwing a crankbait, kind of mowing the yard with it. And uh, come past a piece of cover that's not sticking up, but you can see it under the water here. As soon as that bait deflected off of it, I saw the gold flash and she nailed it. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Marcus is hooked up. Oh my God. Marcus has got a good one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that fish. Got this fat girl on a crankbait. She took off and ran. I didn't think I was gonna, uh, I didn't think I was gonna get her. My drag was not set tight enough for this fish. Right in that treetop. Cool. This fish pulling, dude. Oh, don't you come off. Come here. Oh. Oh, that's a toad right there. Look at that thing. It's like square. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. You've got to be kidding me. I swear to you, I've never in my life seen anything like that before. But that was, I've never seen a fish that big in my life. <laughs> That's the best cast Marcus has ever made. <laughs> ever in the history of feet casting. And if I tried to do that again, I bet I couldn't. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> Dude, you didn't even <laughs> flinch. If I wouldn't have stopped it, I would have bust you right in the grill. If you're having a casting contest with Marcus, the safest place to be is right in front of the target. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining us this week. That's gonna do it. I'm gonna get back out there and try to catch a pig. Listen, I'm with the guy right here that needs no introduction. <laughs> the legend, the guy that started all this bass stuff. You actually changed the way it was spelled. Yeah. Add some dots in it. <laughs> brought it to what, brought the sport to what it is today. Legendary Mr. Ray Scott. And I'm gonna tell you what, even better than all of that is what you've done here in, in the beautiful city of Pentlala. You know, I've been all over the country. I've fished some wonderful venues. I've hunted some wonderful venues. This is by far the best operation that I've ever visited. The hospitality, the food, the, the timeliness of everything. You don't have to lift a finger here. You, well, could, you could come here and not fish. We try to make it that way, and so far it's working, and I hope that people that are watching your show, and by the way, it's a fabulous show. I well, like it. And I hope that you know, some of those guys that are standing back there on the sofa, they'll give us a call. We'll put the number there at the bottom of the show. I hope they'll give us a call and check on coming down to be our guest. Now, I don't say this often, and I very rarely recommend that you bring your wife anywhere, especially if fishing's involved, <laughs> but this is one of those places. You should bring the wife, you should bring the kid, bring the whole family. You know what? Bring the next door neighbor and the dog. Yeah, and a girlfriend a, if you got an And a girlfriend. <laughs> Just don't bring the wife and the girlfriend <laughs> no, on the same no. weekend, all right? So, and stay in a different cabin. Oh, absolutely. Anyway, <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining us. Ray, I can't thank you enough for having me out here. This is unbelievable. I will definitely be back. Next time I'm bringing my son down here because there's not a better place I can think of to come spend a day on the water and a day in the woods than with family. Well, that's so, wonderful. That's a great compliment coming from you, my thank friend. Thank you, sir. And I'll tell you what, these guys do a lot to support the troops. So check out Ray Scott's Trophy Bass Retreats. We're gonna put the website 
and the phone number right across here. Wonderful. So you can come down here and support this great operation and keep it rolling. Thank That's you, sir. Wonderful. Thank you. Come Appreciate back it. again. Absolutely. All right. Now I'm going to go catch a fish. You might as well hurry up. <laughs>